Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta and welcome to Coromon, a game that officially released in its full capability because it was previously released last year I and mean, before that in different ways, but the full game released earlier this year on Steam and it wasn't until pretty much just now on July 21st where the game has officially released on Nintendo Switch. This is a game that is basically a monster capture RPG, basically Pokemon. Think of that. But this game's gotten a lot of hype ever since it was, you know, first announced and, you know, released in, like, you know, beta and all that. People have been really into the game. Uh, so, let me actually go up here into settings really quick because I want to look at a couple things. Uh, so, sound, music, language, that's on, disable online saves. Uh, I mean, you can do that, but, I mean, I, I have mine to disable online because I don't need to rely on online, to be honest. It's fine. Tips and tricks, I'll put that to on to show. Tech speed, I do like tech speed to go fast. Always sprint. You can enable auto sprint or not. I'm going to just go ahead and enable that so I'm running the entire time. Uh, these other things, I don't think I need to actually change them. Uh, no, this, this is actually really easy mode. If you turn these things on, like you get to always select after you see the next uh, Coromon, you know, coming out, then yeah, you can do that. But think of like shift and set in Pokemon. Uh, putting it to set makes the game a little bit harder, a tiny bit harder in some ways. Uh, and then easy trainer battles. Yeah, no, so we're not doing that either. I think we're good here with everything. Show stylized spinners. Uh, show type effectiveness. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Give a nickname as... Okay, so this thing... I'm gonna say never. Just because... I'm not gonna be renaming all of my, you know, monsters that I capture. Uh, I like to not do that when I'm doing Let's Play, so that way all of you can also memorize your actual names. You know? Uh, look at summary, I can ask, configure controls, I think we're fine here. We're just going to go back and we're going to begin slot number one. Here we go. This is going to be a really fun let's play, I will say. Knock knock. Rise and shine, honey. Didn't you hear your alarm? Don't close your eyes again. Today is your first day of work at Lux Solus. Quest started. Prologue. Why don't you put on something nice? You want to make a good impression. Okay, so we get to pick our attire here, like starting with like skin color. I think my skin color is actually, yeah, around there or here. Sorry, around there or here I'm at. Let's go with that one. There's a lot of options, as you can see. I'm not really sure what to actually select. White? Sure. You can put glasses on. I'm not going to do that. Uh, then here, hairstyle. What do I want to do here? There's just so many options. That one's kind of similar to what I generally have, but we'll go with, we'll go with that one, I guess. Or how about... No, that looks ridiculous. That looks so ridiculous. Oh, you can even be bald if you wanted to. I'll go with that one, I think. And then facial hair. If you want to put some, I don't actually have facial hair. I, I always shave. I shave pretty consistently, to be honest. You can do black, brown. There should be a shade in between these two. Um, that's my. That would be my actual hair color, but there's not. And then headgear, if you want to wear something. Should I wear something funny? Oh my god. A panda. A cowboy hat. I think I want to wear that. Let's wear that. Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do here is enter my actual name. Well, not my actual name. Sorry. My YouTube name. <laughs> I meant to say. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I usually name myself Shiny in most Let's Plays that I do. My actual name is Oscar. O-S-C-A-R. Um, okay. I think we are... I don't know if I need to... Oh, okay. You can change your clothing here. I don't need to do that, though. Oh, wow. The day I want that poster, huh? What is this book? Anything important? Ah, the Pokemon I've been saving. Now's the time to use it. 500? Whoa. It's my comfy bed. There's the mirror, you can change your appearance as well with that. Which game shall I play? 
we're not gonna do this, no. I think it's like nice little bonus stuff you can do, but I think we're done there. So basically, the way it works, again, it's like Pokemon. Um, but if you approach anywhere, basically, you'll be able to actually um, examine the thing. If it shows an exclamation mark on the bottom right of the screen, right there, exclamation mark. Dear Diary, tomorrow is what we've been waiting for. It's the first day of Shiny's dream job. I'm so proud. I better hurry and make a reservation at Shiny's favorite breakfast place. So yeah, anytime you see the exclamation mark, that does mean that you can in fact examine it to obtain whatever's there or just to confirm something in front of you. Hello? Okay, bye. Current time is 7 20, 21. Good morning. Good morning, Shiny. You're looking sharp. You must be so excited. You're finally going to become a Lux Solus Battle Researcher. To celebrate your new job, I made a reservation at your favorite breakfast place. We can head there before we go into the station. That sounds great. Come on. Dexter, dear, please keep an eye on the cakes in the oven. Okay, Mom. Oh, is that, is that my brother? Can't read all of these. There are cakes in the oven, but these need a little more time. Huh. There's a laptop here. Huh. Wow. Here, a video game. Okay, not too much else in there. Let's just go. Let's get out of here. But yeah, the big thing that you want to get there is 500 money. That's going to be very helpful. A delicious breakfast later. Okay, so the game skipped past the breakfast part. So here we are, shiny, at the starting line of your own adventure. Look at you all growing up and choosing your own path in life. I'm a little sad to see you go. But I'm also very proud of you. Ever since you were little, you've been dreaming of working for Lux Solus. And now you're ready for this. That's why I got you a little something. I've been saving up for this day so you won't have to worry about gold. Here you go, don't spend it all in one place. 3,000? Thanks, Mom, that's very sweet. I'll make good use of it. Glad to hear that, honey. Oh, look, I can see the train approaching. There's a train. Do you have everything you need? Your backpack, your ticket, clean underwear? Don't worry, Mom. I'm old enough to take care of myself. The train is about to depart. You better get on before it leaves without you. But first, a big hug. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Get in there, shiny. Goodbye, dear. Oh, she's so sad. She's so sad. Well, our adventure begins. You can hear the nice little birds in the background. I like the little sound effects. Alright. Quest updated, prologue, and the train is going back. Okay, well, there's some boxes here. There's not really much to do. We just have to, uh, cross. Oh, not that way. It's this way. If you want to go back, I think you can take the bottom one to go that back that way. Okay. Train departure times. I'm not leaving anytime soon. Huh. I don't think there's anything over here, but... Actually, there is. Gold times 50. Wow. We'll take that. I don't think there's anything else, though. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm not seeing anything. At Lux Solus, we offer trainers the opportunity to customize your experience. Most trainers pick the normal difficulty, but selecting a higher difficulty could be worth the challenge. Ah, yes. Gold times 350. Yes, there's a lot of secrets everywhere. I'm going to do my best to get a bunch of them, of course, by exploring a lot, but I can't guarantee I can get, like, literally everything. A floating glove, how does it even work? This looks difficult. Hello and welcome to Lux Solus Campus. How may I assist you? Hello, my name is Shiny. I'm starting out as a battle researcher today. A new colleague. How lovely. I think you'll have a wonderful time working for Lux Solus. Please give me a moment while I check your registration. Aha, I see. It looks like we still need to know your preferred difficulty. With this, we can personalize your adventure. Most trainers use a normal difficulty, which I would recommend for their regular experience. Take this handbook and read it well. It explains the difference of each difficulty in detail. We got the difficulty handbook times one. 
Okay, a trainer is looking for a challenge to be considered using a difficulty other than normal, but what exactly does that entail? This book will explain all the rules for the different difficulties. Okay. Basically, there's four modes. There's easy, and in easy, basically all your core mod will fully restore their HP when you level up. So yeah, that's a good thing, right? It makes it easier. Shop items are 50% cheaper, so essentially you get to buy double the items in easy mode. Uh, when one of your Coromon faints, you don't need to use a special revive item, instead you can feed it any healing cake. Healing cakes are basically like potions, super potions, hyper potions in Pokemon. So just think about it, like in Pokemon, if they were to faint, you have to use a revive. But what this game is saying is that if you choose easy mode, you don't have to use the revive equivalent item. You can just use a potion to revive them. Normal difficulty. No extra rules apply, so all of this is removed. But there's no harder stuff, which I'll get into right now. Hard mode. This difficulty is for player trainers want to challenge. If one of your Coromon faints, it will leave your squad. Hitting the call to wild, it returns to its habitat. Think of Nuzlocke in Pokemon. Um, or at least one of the rules of Nuzlocke, I should say. And insane. This is harder. You can't escape from any battle. Real trainers stand up for themselves. So you cannot escape anything. You may only catch one Coromon in each area using the Lux Lure. If it faints, you are out of luck, though you are free to capture any perfect Coromon. This is even deeper Nuzlocke rules. The second bullet point here and the first bullet point here, or I should say the only bullet point here, are Nuzlocke rules. If you like Nuzlocke games, you know, Nuzlocke challenges in Pokemon. And it has the added bonus of you cannot escape from any battle. That is crazy. I'm going to be doing normal out. I think easy is a little too easy, but I'm also going to be, um, you know... Not going too crazy. We're gonna do a preset difficulty here and choose normal mode specifically. I'm gonna select yes that. There we go. Thank you. I made all the necessary adjustments for you. You can return to that computer at any time to change your difficulty. Great. Before we continue, could you tell me if you have followed a Lux Solis trainer course before? Nope. Thank you. Every battle researcher requires a gauntlet in order to carry Coromon safely around Valua. We have several color variations from which you can choose. One moment, please. We have the yellow blue variant, the powder big green variant, and last but not least, the infinix red variant. Please choose the one you like the most. Um, I think I'll go with blue, why not? Yeah. Let's go with blue. I think that should work just fine. Good choice, that one goes all with your eyes. Are you flirting with me? Please take this Lux re Recall RC. This state of the art device allows for a streamlined training experience. Your first stop will be the Coromon Lab where Gideon will help you get started. You can find him in the next building over. Have fun and shine bright. Thank you, thank you. Motivation in the mug. Foggy scent times one. Okay, I mean we'll take it, obviously. Another motivation in the mug, huh? Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. Let's just move right along. I know that the starting this game actually takes a little while. There's a lot of intro stuff. Like, there honestly is a lot of stuff. Especially if you're gonna be... Did I just see something? I did. HP cake, S times 1. That's basically a regular potion. It's the weakest potion in the game. Look up to Lex Willow's campus where rookies become professionals. Hmm, do you want some advice for... New battle researcher? Well, I once forgot where I have to go for my quest, but then I remembered I could check my logbook in the menu to see where I have to go. Wow. I mean, that's that's awesome for you. My sister can buy all the stuff she wants because she has become such a successful battle researcher. Oh, okay. Let's go in here. Ah, you must be the new battle researcher. I've heard so much about you. Getting is the one that you'll need to, that you'll that'll get you up to speed. Let me I fetch them for you. Hmm, looks like Gideon's off for lunch, but no worries, I can take a quick break to get you everything you need. Follow me. First of all, let me grab you a data chip. There's a data chip. Data chip is a nifty chip for your gauntlet that will record every Coromon related action you take. All the data is sent back to us, where it is analyzed right here in this very lab. As an incentive for sending us oodles of interesting data, you will be rewarded handsomely, of course. Milestones and promotion bonuses can be redeemed right in your menu. It's not handy. It's pretty simple stuff. I'm sure you'll figure it out figure it all out as you get more comfortable at the job. Alright, alright, you're almost good to go, but you wouldn't get far without our generous employee starter package. 
We got six spinners. Spinners are basically Pokeballs in this game. We got some potions there. SP is basically PP, so think of uh, Ethers, the item Ether. Um, the type manual in there will be especially invaluable throughout your journey. I right, so just taking a quick gander at it before setting out. This is the type effectiveness thing, which can get a little crazy, to be honest. Um, there's, basically, in terms of Coromon types, there are seven in the game. There's water, ice, fire, sand, ghost, electric, and normal. But, um, when it comes to all these, magic, um, all the way until cut, you see how it says skill only? There are basically moves that are this type, but no Coromon are this type, if that makes sense. Well then, I know how excited you must be to get your very own Coromon. Nelson will provide you with one downstairs. That's pretty much it for me. Gotta get back to work now. Do your trains don't discover themselves, you know. Oh, they don't? Well, shoot. This whole time I thought they did. Okay, I don't think these guys are gonna say anything interesting. I don't need to spend too much time here on these guys. Uh-huh. Okay. So much dead on skills. Hmm. All right, we can, we can go back at an emergency. It's a gauntlet, but this one isn't mine. Motivation in the mug, again. I think I got everything. Yeah. All right, let's go downstairs now. Okay. Let's go right up here. Oh, that smell. The smell of a starry-eyed battle researcher, here to receive their very first Koromon. Uh, my bad, I almost said Pokemon. Just hold tight a moment while I finish updating the Koromon Connectifier. That should do it. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Nelson, head of the Koromon Lab. Let's connect you to a Koromon. We'll run a series of tests to find, to find which one is most suited to your personality. I can't wait. That's the enthusiasm I love to hear. Let me just hop over and take some quick measurements. Let me see. Measurements for what? Hmm. Oh. Okay. Now comes the fun part. The machine is ready to scan your brain waves. Please enter. Please keep still during the scan, otherwise you might lose an arm or worse, damage my machine. Wow. Alright, let's do this thing. Analysis commence. I will now ask you a series of questions while the machine measures your brain activity. Question 1. You encounter Wild Koromon. What is your first reaction? I'm gonna see what it does. I see. I would do that too. Question 2. What is your motivation for becoming a battle researcher? Um, I want to tame the strongest Koromon. That's some good motivation right there. Question 3. Which of these three at attacks appeals the most? Um... Fiery breath. Not my favorite, but let's continue. What? Question four. Which of these colors appeal the most to you? Crimson red. Let's go with crimson red, baby. Okay. The final question. Describe your ideal first date. You know, I like the traditional candle at dinner. So romantic. All done. Watch your step. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Piece of cake. Fantastic. You must be excited to hear the results. Stand in front of the hatches when you're ready. Here are your options. Pronouncing the Fire Koromon, Toruga. This Koromon is very strong, loves to battle, and can learn powerful moves. Nibblegar, a water type Koromon. This Koromon has high endurance in battles and is able to outlast most other Koromon. And finally, the Ice Koromon, Cub Zero. This Koromon is a jack of all trades, a perfect balance between offense and defense. And now the results of your analysis. The algorithm points to one clear winner. The Fire Koromon Toruga would be a good match for you. Why don't you take a closer look? Trust your instincts and pick the one you like the most. Well, I think I'm probably going to go with this one, but let's take a look at summary. I mean, if, if you know, I, I think it makes sense for me to go with the recommendation of, you know, based on my answers, just for fun. Okay, so that's Taruga. So you can see stats, HP, attack, special attack, speed, defense, and special defense. So yeah, attack is higher from Taruga, but defenses are only a tiny bit lower than Nibblegar. Um, okay, this one's also faster, but this one has more HP by just a little bit. 
This one has actually really high attack, but lower special attack than all. Speed is kind of slower than the others. Defense, okay. Yeah, it's pretty well balanced. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Taruga, I think. Let's go ahead and pick Taruga. Taruga, the algorithm never lies. Your Taruga seems to have the thick skin trait, very useful indeed. But you won't get far out there with just one Koromon. Take this. Take this pattern bit for extra protection. Patterbit, join your squad. Now you got your Koromon. Let's get a data chip of yours a test run. I'll activate your Lux Recall RC to take us to the battlegrounds. Hold on. Here we are. Are you prepared for your first battle? You're going to battle? Aren't you an expert? Don't worry. I will be a fair fight. I brought my Nibblegar, which has the same level as your Taruga. Helpful tip. If you hold down on your skills, you'll get a detailed overview of your effects. Be sure to try it out if you're ever confused with what a skill does. Good luck, Shiny. Give it your all. Ready? Let's jam. Okay, well, the opponent is sending out Nibblegar. Okay, so I have a type disadvantage here. So you get to fight, item, squad, which is party, and run. It's just like Pokemon. I'm going to attack here. So again, you get to hold the A button and you get to see your um, the stats for your skills. Here's Slam. It's a, it's a physical attack, power 40, accuracy 100. Cute Pose is a status attack, accuracy 100. This one says it lowers the defense of the opposing team. Both, both of the moves are normal. This one consumes 2 SP, which again is like PP in Pokemon. And this one is free, 0 SP. Let's just use Slam and see how much this does. Double Guard is fully rest. Okay. 2? What do you mean 2? Oh, should I have to heal? What the hell? Slam again. Oh, I got a crit. Yes. Oh no. Oh, don't you dare give me a chomp. Oh, damn. Stupid. Okay. Oh my god, man. Mighty Roar. That lowers my attack. That's fine, I got this. Oh, hell yeah, I got another crit. Are crits more common in this game? They actually might. Shit. The problem is, if he gets a crit, I think I'm dead. Actually, even a regular attack might do it. Oh no! I think I did it. Did I do it? Barely. I barely beat this guy with two health. Oh my god. 119 experience. Okay, we'll take it. So we're gonna go to level 6 and our stats increase. Speed up by 2. Attack by uh, 1. Defense by 1. Special attack by 1. Special defense by 1. Uh, SP1 and HP1. Yeah, okay. Cinder unlocked. Launch a small burning cinder on the target with a 10% chance to burn the target. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Alright. Impressive. Of course impressive. I mean, what did you expect? Well done, you and your Coromon are going to make quite a team. I just know it. Huh. Yeah, you can the trainer hub. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fun battle, right? We can start by exploring Radium Park. Huh. Wait, why is it my... Oh, sorry. I have... My button wasn't working. Like, that was so weird. <laughs> but okay. Not to pass the bridge at a core one past that point are generally less beginner-friendly. Blair from the R&D lab can hook you up with a gauntlet module to keep you safe. You can find the lab in Radiant Park. Best of luck, Shiny. I'll be the Gormon lab if you need me. I'm right. Okay. Well. To become the best battle researcher. Okay. Yeah, so with regular people like this, I'm not really going to ever, like, just read it word by word for, like, everything. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Okay. This over here is... These are treasures. These, like, silver boxes. HP cake S. Okay. Did she agree? Oh, no. Hmm. I don't think this will make the cut. Oh no, that's not good. Anything over here in these areas? No. Hmm. I guess that's a strategy that you can do, which is kind of cool. Let me go over here. Oh, look at that. Gold times 150. Okay. 
think we're done in this area. Uh-huh. Okay, alright. So anyway, that was the battleground where we left off was right here, if you remember. That's where we uh, went inside the lab and stuff, but there's a few more buildings in here that we can actually, you know, go to. Said Fresh Phaser and Luck, we're running a special promotion. All new battle researchers get free coupons for a discount on their next purchase at any of the shops. Coupon 25% times 1. Coupon 50% times 1. Okay. Sure. Okay, so these things right here are fast travel things from what I know. But I don't have any other fast travel locations, so I can't do anything with that quite yet, unfortunately. Okay. Alright, so this place right here is... I mean, you'll see. It's basically the shop. I don't think there's going to be any, like, items in here. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I doubt it. You can't afford any. Like, you gotta... I don't know, you, you gotta win some battles. Good idea, how can I assist you? Uh, what do you have for sale? You have HP cakes, SP cakes... Okay, so basically, again, these are 20 HP. These are SP because it's 20 SP. Overcharge is 5 SP if applicable. These are heal status elements, like, you know, the ice cake is for burn, and there's, like, lifted cake, and, you know, all these other ones for... Basically different status elements. There's a clear K, that's for haziness. We'll talk more about status elements later because even I'm not too sure about all of them. Um, but anyway. We're done there. I'm not going to spend money yet. Um, I'm going to actually wait to see what I should spend it on. Maybe I, maybe I got to be a little more smart, you know, on that. <laughs> and don't just waste it like that. Can I go that way? No, I can't. Okay. So this area right here... With the green cross, I mean, you kind of guessed it, right? I mean, I don't think any of you are going to get it wrong with what your guess is right now. So first of all, there's like, it's like a PC, you know, you get to actually withdraw, deposit, same thing. It's like the Pokemon storage system, you know. I, obviously, I'm going to be comparing it to Pokemon a lot because it's very obvious that this game was heavily inspired by Pokemon. Okay, I mean, you can clearly tell. And then this is basically Nurse Joy, <laughs> you know? You get to heal your Coralmon here. Alright. There's also additional floors, uh, which are, I think it's more like internet and stuff like that, like other bonus multiplayer stuff. Because from what I know, there actually is multiplayer aspects. I think you'll like it. We can work more efficiently? Okay. We'll get out of there. We don't really need to mess with that right now. Let's go down. Okay, and over here in this place, I don't really think there's anything here any worthwhile. Longest three three is to win streak by sexy ED94 personal win streak five. What? Uh, no, we're not gonna do that. Again, that's online stuff. I'm not gonna worry about that. It's just a let's play, focusing on the campaigns, you know, story mode. Just advancing through the game and stuff, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, but I'm basically done in there. Um, okay, there is actually a chest right here. Call me cake S times one. A new gadget. Oh. Hmm. Okay, not too much in there right now. We'll just. Uh... Oh, there's actually somebody there. Would you give me something? I mean, I, I doubt it, but. Oh, well, there's an item here, though. HP cake, S, okay. Shine bright, shine bright. <laughs> yeah, people do keep saying that. Alright, I think we're done here. Let's just move on and, you know, proceed down. The hell? Okay. Let's make our way through. Okay, so basically, what the hell? Looks like a pathway you can go over there, but I don't think you can. Here's an item. Gold times 150. I'll take it. SPK small times 1. Come on, Jerome. Focus. Remember what I taught you. We can wall Coromon to increase your chance to capture it. 
Trying to capture Cormon, but they keep breaking up my spinners. Perhaps you could help me. Could you catch one for me? That would have helped me so much. Come back to me when you caught any. Okay, or one. Any will do. I love having Brielle as my supervisor. Just yesterday, she taught me that applying a condition like shock increases the chance to catch wild Pokemon. Whoa. It's almost like Pokemon. Inflicting a status element, huh? Here's a chest. Spinner times one. HP cake small. That's two regular potions. That's two ethers. Or one ether, sorry. Okay, this is wild grass here. We're gonna get into an encounter here on purpose so we can go ahead and capture one for, you know, for that guy right there. He wants us to capture him. That's a side quest. I believe. Okay, this one is a Silquill. We're going to use a Cinder. I don't think this is going to annihilate you, but it will do a lot of damage. What? Oh my gosh, Haruga, you are so strong. You are so good. Wow. Somebody's been taking them steroids. Okay, let's try this again. I mean, to be fair, it was a level one. I mean, the levels range here a little bit. What the hell? That's a patter bit. Okay, I'm pretty sure this one actually is weak to fire, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I mean, there's, there's no bug types in this game, even though it kind of looks like it. Okay, we're going to go to use an item. Let's use a spinner. Spinners are basically Pokeballs. You always want to weaken them, you know, just like Pokemon. Inflicting status elements increases chances. Lower health increases chances. And using better spinners also increases chances to capture. So it did skip down, but there's not really much else I can do. I mean, you're at 4 out of 15 health. If I do any other attack, you will escape. So that's... There we go. Got you. Just bad luck on my part. Yeah, we'll take the summary. Okay, this is a patter bit right here. It's level 3. Kind of nice. It's a normal. Okay. Can you see its movesets? Yeah, you can. Slam. Isn't holding anything. Conduct your passive. The Cormon charges when hit by an electric attack, increasing its speed. How do I join your squad? Milestone achieved. Turuka awakens some of its potential. Okay, so you basically get three points that you can want to do. What should I do? I don't know, I'm going to do that. Um, sure. You can basically do this stuff, you know, to get better stats. Which is nice. But anyway, now's a good chance to talk about a couple things. The first thing is that... Oh yes, he already had a pattern bit. My bad. Okay, we're going to go into summary. And okay, so... So as you know, this is fire type. But I wanted to check your ability. Thick skin. It's thick skin makes the Cormon immune to critical hits. That's good. It's like shell armor. It's awesome. The next thing that I can do is if I go into, is it Logbook or Database? Now Database just shows you all of the, um, the Coromon. Um, logbook is there. Isn't there a, well yeah, would it just be Milestones? We go to Milestones and we can actually see certain things. So defeat one battle researcher. We can claim this. Okay. We can catch one Coromon. There we go. We got some more. Um, I think that's all we have, because I think it shows you, like, which ones, what the hell, what is that? Oh, win five battles. Yeah, so we'll get, we'll get these eventually, and as we keep playing the game naturally, that's gonna happen. What do you, get over here. What the hell, man? Yes, I did. Here, take this one that I just caught. Patera, my supervisor will be so impressed. Love your squad. Jerome, what are you doing? You're supposed to catch him for yourself. Give that Cormon back at once. I'm sorry, he's right. Taking the easier route won't help me improve as a battle researcher. I'll give you your patter bit back. And here, take these for your effort. We got two silver spinner. They're supposed to make catching Cormon easier. I'll just have to keep on trying. Wow. Well, okay, I mean, we got that quest done. Do you say anything else that's new? No, you just say the same stuff. All right. But those are basically better, you know, spinners. R&D lab. So if you ever want to look at what you need to be doing, um, if you, well actually I, I should show this first. This is the world map as you can see. Okay. And then there's, oh, okay, hold on. I'm looking at all these buttons and what they actually do. You would go into, okay, you can always save, you know. Um, 
the logbook. Yeah, the logbook shows your quest. So active one is this one. I should find Larry in the R&D lab located in Radium Park, which is basically where I'm going, as you know. Here's another item. We got a dream spinner times one. That's a different type of spinner. We'll look at that later. Okay. There's a chest over here. HP cake, S times one. Who are you? I love coming here on my lunch breaks. The beauty of nature just washes all my worries away. So I remember what he was saying that if you go past somewhere, I think I'm at, I think maybe down there, that that's bad. Good morning, that's super fishing, ain't it? This river is the perfect place to catch some water coral on. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it was saying over here, if you go past that bridge, I think that's the one he was referring to. I'm going to go in here because obviously that's where I need to go for story progression. So let's do it. The gun is a powerful tool. It can be upgraded with any amount of modules to satisfy all your needs. Yeah, usually like in trash cans, you'll actually find a lot of items, which is pretty awesome. Work, work, work. Gotta work. No time for break. Wow, it sounds like one of my co-workers. Oh my god. She's crazy. It's like working his life and that's it. Big time workaholic. You. It must be... What? The new battle researcher, Shiny. Um, yes I am. Who are you? I knew it. My instincts never fail me. My name is Larry and I will tell you all about the magical world of the gauntlet. This way, please. Here we are, in the Gauntlet Module Test Area. The Gauntlet on your arm is a technological masterpiece. Besides carrying your core on, it can do so much more. It's the multi-tool for Lux Solus employees. The Gauntlet's modular design enables the user to install new functionality on the go. Let me give you a quick tour of some of our research. My colleague Velma here is calibrating the push module. She's optimizing the power so that it outputs 100% capacity. Looks cool, huh, Shiny? Keep it up, Velma. And Percy over there is developing a brand new module on his own. Let's say hi. Percy, my man, can you explain what you're working on for a new colleague? Ah, the new battle researcher is taking an interest in my project. It's quite simple. You see, I started my combining a spark plug together with flammable gas to create a combustion that's... Hold up, that's way too tactical. Can you demonstrate instead? Gladly. Stand back, please. Wow. Well. Whoa, careful, the final pyromaniac. Well, sorry, got a little carried away. It's okay, no one got hurt this time. <laughs> Larry, shiny. Larry, I need to borrow shiny for a bit. There are some important matters we need to go over. Ah, so shiny is the one you told me about earlier. Sure, you can borrow my protege. Well, as with most matters of life, the stink module can wait. I'll be hanging out by the bridge in Radiant Park. Come to me when you're done, shiny. It's nice to finally meet you, Shiny. I'm Rigel, or Rigel. I don't know. Head of the R&D lab. Let me explain everything in the privacy of our restricted access area because of possible radiation exposure. We require everyone to wear a lab coat inside. Here, I brought one that should fit you. Oh, wow, thank you. And some glasses. Follow me, please. Wow, look at that item. Welcome to the restricted access area. Pretty impressive, no? What is this floating thing in front of me? This here is what our Titan Task Force is all about. It is called Titan Essence. It started manifesting in Velua a couple of months ago. What does it do? It's up to this task force to figure that out. A team to which it will be a valuable addition. You want me to join the Titan Task Force? Yes, we do. You showed such great motivation that I had to make sure you were assigned to this team. Anyway, these Titan Essences will slowly disintegrate without the right containment device. Recently, though, we made a massive breakthrough in our research. We developed a Gauntlet module, which will bring us one step closer to understanding Titan Essence. This module, the Essence Collector, is able to stabilize Titan Essence as well as send us valuable research data. That's where you come in. You will be equipped with the Essence Collector, which means your job, in addition to being a battle researcher, is to assist us in gathering Titan Essences. That would be an honor. Where can I find these Titan Essences? Come, I'll show you. The Titan essence in this lab was embedded within the elemental Titan on Donar Island, but this isn't the only one in existence. We pinpointed the location of six of these Titan essences in Bel Belwa. Our hypothesis is that when we managed to contain them together, 
Only then will they show their true potential. I'll do my best. Tuko, would you mind handing me the module? Of course. That means no, he said would you mind and he said yes, of course. So, he, he, he messed up there. Here we go, shiny the essence collector, handle it with care. Receive essence collector times one. The closest Titan essence is guarded by Voldgar, the bender of storms. Do you see Donar Island in the southeast of the map? There in the power tower, Voltgar bends the weather and guides thunderstorms towards the island. Before you can use the Essence Collector module, we need to get it installed into your gauntlet. That's a precise task. It's only one person in... Okay, see, I, I actually thought that was saying Vel... Velva? But it's a U. It's, it should be Veloa. Because V is... Sorry, I thought it was like a... Because you know how some fonts, the V is curved? But it's Veloa. Who's able to work with that level of precision. His name is Perrin, a good friend of mine. He works as a blacksmith in Hayville. Perrin the blacksmith in Hayville. Got it. How do we get there? Hayville lies just beyond Radiant Park. When you have the module installed, the colleague in Woodlow Harbor will take you across the water to Dolinar Island. I will contact you on your phone if anything comes up. Good luck, Shiny, and shine bright. There we go. Okay, let's explore some stuff here. I don't know if there's going to be anything else I can do here, though. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, not really anything in these areas. Okay, let's just make our way back. Well, check out this one, though. Oh, there's something here. Heel spinner times one. Looks like a laptop here. Motivation in the mug, yet again. Hello? Okay, bye. Okay, I think we're done there. Hmm. Oh, what's that? Seems broken. Ah, one of the modules overloaded. Okay. They all overloaded here. Wow, that's not good. That is not good at all. Wow. What is this? Access granted. Oh, that's just to open the door. Oh my god. No, we don't want to go there. Instead, I, I want to grab this treasure right here. Oh no, it's locked. Maybe I can shut them down somehow. We designed new modules for trainers to make it work easier. For example, with the push module, trainers can travel to otherwise hard-to-reach areas. Hmm. Interesting. I can't really do much with that yet, though. I know some of these words. This looks complicated. Yeah, there's not really much I can do here. It's just this thing that I can't open. Not yet, at least. And there's a bunch of places here. Motivation in the bug, yet again. Okay. Who's this one? Just some random guy, okay. Want to make sure I can, you know, get everything. Let's check out the right side now. What the heck? There's like a, there's a bunch of rooms in here that are different elements. Icy spinner? Hmm, okay. We got HP cake S times one. There's nothing in there though. Are those actually gonna give us wild night wild Cormon? Probably. He's running low on supply, that's why I'm out of okay. Oh, I see. What the hell? Okay, let's get out of there. This one's disturbing. I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, dude. Jeez. You don't, you don't gotta be so rude about it. Hmm, there's nothing in this one. Okay, well, let's get out of here. So, we've... I mean, that was a lot of exploring there. That place was huge. There's actually still... 
this first one, but I don't know if it's going to be... Oh, no, we already checked this one out. Yeah, we did. We can get out of here now. Alright, um, I mean, we finished there, so all we really have to do now is go down here. I mean, we can probably catch some... Oh, actually, let me talk to you here. Try to tell the rumors. They're true. The new China Task Force member. It's you, isn't it? I'm so happy for you. Let's celebrate with some stink module training. You don't like the name? Well, I bet you'll love what I can do. Normally, this patch of grass over here is full of battle hunger while a Koromon. Well, with the stink module, with just one zap and boom, all the Koromon goes scampering off into the unknown. Here, you seem like the, the type that learns by experience. Let me install the stink module on your gauntlet. Uh, okay. The hell? Make sure you're standing in the grass patch when using the stink module, otherwise it won't activate. Now, give it a go. Hold your nose and use the secondary action button to stink away to your heart's content. Excellent. Notice the blinking effect in the grass? That means you're free to wander through this bush without the threat of all Koromon. And in just five minutes, the module is recharged. Ready to be used again. Useful, isn't it? Sure is. Well, that's all for today. We'll be in contact when new modules are finished. Have a nice hike and enjoy the tranquility of Hazel. Shine bright. Uh, yeah, okay. Here's a chest. Gold times 500. I should probably try and, like, you know, maybe capture something here. Maybe. It might be a good idea. I just... And I may also want to go back and heal once I do some battles. Let's check out this grass here. I'm just going to do one battle and before I end the video. Just so I can see what I'm working with here. Let's see. That's a silk will. We've already seen that one before. I don't know if I... It's level 2. Hmm. Seems a little low. Claw. Oh damn, my stats went in. Defense decreased. Let's use slam. It's a little bit less SP. There we go. Let me get some experience for that. 24. Alright, well we did that. Yeah, I'll just end the video here. I'm gonna go back and heal. And in between episodes, I'll meet you somewhere down there and just, you know, progress the story some more. So, hopefully you have all enjoyed this so far. It'll be a fun, you know, Pokemon-like game. It should be pretty nice, but yeah. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.